Today we'd like to demonstrate the ASTM C143 specification, commonly known as the slump cone test. The tools you need for the test are a slump cone, a flat non-absorptive surface, a scoop, a tape measure, and a 5 8 inch diameter tamping rod with hemispherical ends. We will begin the test by dampening the interior of the slump cone and the base. Place the mold on a rigid, flat, level surface. Hold the mold firmly in place by standing on the two foot pieces on either side of the mold. Using a scoop, fill the cone in three equal layers by volume, moving the scoop around the perimeter of the cone to ensure an even distribution of concrete. After filling the first third, rod the layer 25 times through its depth, uniformly distributing the strokes over the cross section of the layer. Incline the rod slightly, starting near the perimeter and progressing spirally towards the center. Next, fill the second third of the cone by volume, moving the scoop around the perimeter. Rod the layer 25 times, making sure to penetrate into the first layer approximately 1 inch. Uniformly distribute the strokes over the cross section of the layer. Fill the remaining third with concrete, filling it slightly over the top of the cone. Rod the layer 25 times, making sure to penetrate into the second layer approximately 1 inch. If at any time the concrete falls below the top of the mold, add additional concrete to keep an excess above the mold. Continue the rotting count from the value reached before the concrete was added. Strike off the top surface of the concrete with the tamping rod in a screening and rolling motion. While maintaining downward pressure, remove any concrete which is collected around the base of the cone. Raise the cone in a steady, vertical direction in a time frame of 5 plus or minus 2 seconds. 1, 1,000, 2, 1,000, 3, 1,000, 4, 1,000, 5. What we are now looking for is the shape of the concrete. I am looking to determine if the concrete has sheared off to the side. If that would be the case, this would be an invalid test, and I could rerun the test using a different sample. As we look down at our sample, that is not the case, and we can proceed. We will use the mold and the tamping rod, measuring the bottom of the tamping rod to the original displaced center to the nearest quarter inch. In this test, our slump is now five and three quarter inches, and we can record the results. 